Brian has now completed his care for the patient and is ready to exit the patient's room. He enters the ante room and shuts the door behind him. And now he opens the door into the hallway. Remember, all doffing or removal of PPE will occur in the ante room. The clinician observer will now be positioned in the hallway to guide Brian through the doffing checklist. Now that they are in position, we can now begin the doffing procedure. Step 1. The PPE observer now completes a visual inspection of the clinician's PPE for gross contamination. Step 2. Sanitize other gloves with alcohol-based hand rub. The other pair of gloves is the most contaminated PPE and must be removed first. You will notice as we go through the doffing process that every time PPE is touched, gloved hands are sanitized with alcohol-based hand rub. Please remember that you want to ensure that you are not inadvertently contaminating yourself with this process. Step 3. Remove outer pair of gloves inside out. In doffing the gloves, you want to ensure that you touch only the outside with the outside and inside with the inside, dirty to dirty, clean to clean. Place your thumb on the inside palm of your hand to allow easier removal. With the opposing gloved hand, pinch approximately one inch above your cuff and remove the gloves inside out only halfway. Do the same with the opposite hand, but remove the gloves all the way this time. Keep a hold of the remove glove to provide you a visual cue of where you might have inadvertently contaminated yourself. At the palm of the half-gloved hand, you will find an area that you would have only touched with the inside of your glove. Gently push off the glove from that area. No matter how well you think you did or how proficient you are with this process, you will leave nothing to chance. Therefore, you will include step four. Step 4. Sanitize inner gloves with alcohol-based hand rub. Step 5. Remove full face shield. To remove the full face shield, grasp the strap from the back. Next, you will bend at the waist, keeping your back straight and your chin extended. Pull away carefully and over the face in a smooth, controlled motion. Sanitize gloves with alcohol-based hand rub. Step 6. Peel off zipper cover from top to bottom. You will start at the top of the zipper, moving from clean to dirty. The top of the zipper cover is clean because it was under the face shield. Sanitize gloves with alcohol-based hand rub. Step 7. Unzip coverall from top to bottom. Sanitize gloves with alcohol-based hand rub. Step 8. Pull back cover all hood. Avoid contaminating the back of the head with the outer surface of the hood. Do this by grasping the hood on the outside and flipping back with your hand so the inner surface of the hood is exposed. Sanitize gloves with alcohol-based hand rub. Step 9. Remove coverall and discard. To remove the coverall, pull gloved hands inside the coverall sleeves. 
You will do this by grasping the edge of the coverall sleeve and pulling your arm inside the coverall. Repeat with the other arm. Next, grasp the coverall sleeve from behind your back and pull off your shoulders. Begin to roll the coverall down inside out towards the floor. Remove the coverall from your feet by pulling over your heel and pulling your foot off. Repeat with the other foot. Discard your coverall. Sanitize your gloves with alcohol-based hand rub. Step 10, remove the leg covers inside out and discard. Do this by grasping the outside of the leg covers and rolling down towards your foot. Sanitize gloves in between each leg cover removal. Sanitize gloves with the alcohol-based hand rub. Remove your remaining pair of gloves inside out and discard using the same technique as previously demonstrated, ensuring that you touch only the outside with the outside, inside with the inside, dirty to dirty, clean to clean. Sanitize hands with alcohol-based hand rub. Step 12, put on a new pair of gloves. The observer assists this by handing the clinician a pair of gloves ready to use. Step 13, remove goggles. It is important that you remove your goggles carefully in a smooth, controlled motion. Start by grasping the strap at the back of your head, then bending at the waist with your neck or chin extended in the same way the face shield was removed. Sanitize gloves with alcohol-based hand rub. Step 14, remove N95 respirator. It is important that you remove your N95 respirator carefully using the same technique as for the goggles, bending at the waist with your neck extended, remove using the straps only. Never start from the top strap first. Start from the bottom strap and pull the elastic with control over the top of your head and remove your mask in a controlled slow motion. Alternatively, you can remove your N95 respirator using a two-strap method where you grasp the bottom strap first and then pull the top strap at the same time using the same controlled motion to remove the respirator. Sanitize gloves with alcohol-based hand rub. It is important to practice with your own fit-tested N95 respirator to see which method works best for you. Step 15, remove gloves inside out and discard using the same technique that was used previously to safely remove your gloves. Sanitize hands with alcohol-based hand rub.
you are now ready to leave the room. A walk-off mat will be provided to disinfect your footwear. It is important to stand on the walk-off mat for one time minute to ensure adequate contact time to kill any microorganisms.